Above all, if he doesn't want you, there is nothing you can do about it. Put the books down. Those tactics only work if he wants you. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but you can't make someone want you that doesn't. Hey ladies, welcome back. I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind lately, and that is what to avoid if you want a serious relationship with someone. We've all been there, right? I assume that's why you clicked on this video, trying to figure out if a guy is serious about you or just wasting your time. If you have to ask, he probably is wasting your time, but let's get into it. Here are the key mistakes we should avoid. First off, don't ask him where you stand. Trust me on this one. Thinking back on a time when I asked a guy where we stood and then I took a step back and learned what you're listening to me tell you right now, I'm embarrassed that I even asked. I'm sure it made me look really clingy and desperate and I'm neither of those things and you don't have to be. If you have to ask, it usually means he's not interested in committing. If a guy wants to be with you seriously, he'll make it clear without you needing to ask and it won't take him an eternity to do so. When a man is interested, he will naturally make his intentions known. Men are hunters by nature. Think of it like a lion on a savanna. A lion doesn't sit back and wait for his prey to walk up and surrender. It actively pursues it driven by, driven by instinct and desire. In relationships, men are often similar. They go after what they truly want. If he's not making an effort to clarify your relationship status, it's likely because he's comfortable with the ambiguity, which often means he's not planning to take things further. This doesn't make him a bad person, but it does indicate that his priorities don't align with yours. Psychologically, people are wired to pursue what they value. If a man values you and sees a future with you, he will go out of his way to make his intentions clear. Take note. I pay attention to the way a man takes care of his responsibilities like rent, keeping the bills paid on time, showing up for work. You can learn a lot about someone and their level of commitment based on how well they take care of their own responsibilities. So as far as you're concerned, he will invest time, effort, and energy into the relationship just like a hunter tracks and pursues its prey. It's a natural drive to secure something important. If you find yourself constantly wondering where you stand, it's a sign that he might not value the situation as much as you do. And it's time to reassess your own priorities. It's crucial to maintain your self-respect and not put yourself in a position where you're constantly seeking validation. In Girlfriends, Joan, whom I loved, except for how she moved in relationships, she was so cringy and desperate for a man that she usually ran them off. She was often in situations where she questioned her relationships, particularly with Ellis. She spent a lot of time wondering where she stood with him, which only led to more heartache for her. When you value yourself, you won't need to ask because you'll be with someone who shows you through their actions and also make it known. Secondly, we need to stop accepting situationships. You know what I mean. Here's a video. I posted this about three weeks ago on this topic. I'm sorry, three years ago on this topic. To sum it up, there are those relationships where you're more than friends, but less than a couple. It usually only benefits him and he gets the perks without any responsibilities of being in a relationship with you. I was dating this guy for about a year. He never asked me for a commitment. I never met the most important people in his life. I wasn't invited around his friends. I was one of his best kept secrets, only known to a few. My feelings were crushed. I felt like I was an object and I allowed myself to be used until I remembered who I was and I let him and that situation go. From a psychological perspective, situationships often leave one partner feeling insecure and undervalued. The lack of clarity can cause anxiety and really diminish your self-esteem over time. The person benefiting from the situation, they're good. They have no incentive to change the status quo because they are already getting what they want without committing. Think of it like being on a job where you're doing all the work. You're always on time, maintaining a good attitude, but not getting the title or the raise. You're putting in the effort, hoping for recognition and a promotion, but 
the company has no reason to change your position because you're already fulfilling the role without them needing to commit to you officially. These dynamics can be toxic and unfulfilling for the person hoping for more. We deserve to be in relationships where our feelings and time are respected. Think about Mary Jane and her various entanglements in being Mary Jane. She often found herself in situationships hoping they would turn into something more, but they rarely did. Being Mary Jane shows how accepting less than you deserve can affect you emotionally. She often found herself in situationships that left her feeling empty and questioning her worth. By recognizing our value and refusing to settle for anything less, we empower ourselves to attract relationships that are truly fulfilling. Another big one is avoiding early sexual advances. If a guy is pushing to come over or talking about sex early on, it's a red flag. And sometimes they can be real sneaky and ask you those small questions that will eventually lead to the bedroom. Flag it. Although most men that want to pursue you will desire you sexually, a mature man won't open the door for that conversation because he knows that sends the wrong message and it will ruin his chances of a potential relationship with you. And just like you, he also values himself and won't lay with just anyone. Think of it like a chef preparing a gourmet meal. A skilled chef, chef knows that rushing the cooking process will ruin the dish. Instead, they take their time. They let the flavors develop, making sure the final result is exceptional. Same thing with the man who values you. He will take the time to build a connection rather than rushing into physical intimacy. Understanding that a strong foundation leads to a more fulfilling and lasting relationship. Psychologically, when a relationship is heavily sexual from the beginning, it can overshadow the development of a deeper emotional connection. It sets a precedent that the relationship is primarily physical, which can make it difficult to build a foundation of trust and respect. This is why it's so important to establish boundaries early on to ensure that the both of you are on the same page about what you want from the relationship. We deserve way more respect than that. I know it can be flattering when someone shows you that kind of interest, but you have to think long-term. If he's truly interested in you as a person, he'll respect your boundaries. It's like building a house. You wouldn't want to skip laying the a solid foundation just to move in quicker because that house won't stand the test of time. Same thing. If someone is genuinely interested, they will take the time to build a strong emotional foundation rather than rushing into physical intimacy. Holding your ground and setting boundaries guarantees that the relationship is built on respect and mutual interest, not just desires. Speaking of respect, we need to value courtship. If a guy isn't willing to put in the effort to court us properly, we should forget him. Courting might seem old fashioned and that's unfortunate, but it shows he values you and is serious about the relationship. Think of it like training for a marathon. You don't just wake up one day and run 26 miles. It takes time, dedication, and consistent effort to build your stamina and strength. Same thing. A man who is serious about a relationship will put in the time and effort to build a strong foundation, demonstrating his commitment and seriousness through his consistent actions. Courtship is about mutual respect and understanding. From a psychological perspective, courtship helps in building a strong emotional foundation. It's during this phase that you both learn about each other's values, the goals, and habits. This process is crucial for establishing, establishing trust and making sure there's compatibility before making a deeper commitment. Is this someone I want to do life with? Because that's the goal. When a man takes the time to court you, it indicates that he's willing to invest in the relationship. It's not about making him jump through hoops, but about seeing if he's willing to invest time and effort. Courting can be so sweet and romantic too. Think of all the little gestures like planning dates and remembering those little things about you. It shows that he's serious. It's like creating a beautiful piece of art. An artist doesn't just rush the process. They carefully choose their materials. They sketch out their design and they painstakingly add those details to bring their vision to life. Same thing with the man who takes the time to court you. He's dedicated to building a meaningful and lasting relationship, demonstrating his commitment through thoughtful and deliberate actions. Here's another thing. Don't chase him. If he's genuinely interested, he'll make the effort. 
Chasing a guy only makes us look desperate and lowers our value in his eyes. We should be the prize, not the pursuer. It's all about self-worth. When we chase, we're basically saying we don't believe we're worth it, but we are. Think of it like a high quality product in a store. The best products don't need to be pushed aggressively onto customers. Their quality speaks for itself. Customers seek out what they're willing to invest in because they recognize their value. Same thing. When you hold your ground and don't chase, you demonstrate your worth and you attract someone who genuinely values and wants to pursue you. Psychologically, chasing someone can lead to a one-sided dynamic where one partner is constantly trying to prove their worth, which can lead to feelings of inadequacy and resentment. Relationships should be about mutual effort and respect, not one person constantly trying to win the other one over. It's about letting things unfold naturally. I remember chasing after this guy in my college years thinking, I can make him like me if I just tried hard enough. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. He ended up dating somebody else and I was left feeling pretty foolish. When you're the prize, you attract someone who recognizes and values your worth without you having to chase them. If you met a guy who thinks the opposite of this and tries to convince you that you should be chasing him, run. Also, let's avoid playing games. Being honest and straightforward is so important. Knowing when you're being manipulated is good, but don't turn around and try to manipulate them too. It's a waste of time. Playing manipulative games might seem like a good idea in the moment, but they can backfire and damage the trust. That's why it's so crucial for any serious relationship to be built on trust. Honesty and transparency are foundational for any healthy relationship. Manipulative tactics can create a power imbalance and erode the trust. Relationships are built on honesty and tend to be stronger and more resilient because both partners feel safe and respected. Being honest about your feelings and expectations can prevent a lot of heartache down the line. I dream of being with someone who keeps it real with me at all times, you know, no games, no pretending to be someone he's not. And it works out beautifully because we built that strong foundation of trust from the start. And here's another crucial point. The more convenient you are, the more disposable you become. When you make yourself too readily available and constantly accommodating someone else's schedule, it could lead to you being taken for granted. Think of it like, a fast food restaurant versus a fine dining experience. The fast food place is convenient and always there, so it's easy to take it for granted and not appreciate it. On the other hand, a fine dining experience is special and it's valued because it's not an everyday occurrence. Being overly accommodating can signal to your partner that you don't value your own time and needs, which can inadvertently diminish your worth in his eyes. He'll think, Shoot, no matter what I do or don't do, she'll always be there when I want her. So it's important that you maintain your independence and not lose sight of your own priorities. By doing this and and not always being available at the drop of a hat, you show that your time and your presence are valuable and it makes you somewhat of a challenge because you're not always easy to access. In essence, valuing yourself and your time teaches others to do the same. It's about finding a balance where both partners respect each other's time and you'll attract a more healthier, balanced relationship where neither partner feels disposable. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. You need to be brave enough to confront those issues or walk away if necessary. Relationships should be spaces of comfort and safety, not sources of anxiety and doubt. Relationships should be built on mutual respect and trust. If you find yourself constantly anxious or doubting your partner's intentions, it's a sign that something isn't right. So be brave enough to have those difficult conversations or if necessary, walk away. Your well-being and peace of mind are paramount. You deserve to be with someone who makes you feel secure and valued and loved. Not someone who's like, I don't know about this. I'm not sure yet. Lastly, it's super important. Don't ignore red flags. If we notice concerning behaviors or attitudes, we need to address them and be prepared to move on. Ignoring red flags now can lead to bigger issues down the line. It's so easy to overlook them when you really like someone. Trust me, I know. But those red flags are there for a reason. Red flags often indicate underlying issues that can be more pronounced over time. So it's crucial to address those concerns only early on to prevent bigger problems later. Ignoring red flags can lead to a toxic relationship where unresolved issues build up and cause significant harm, leaving you heartbroken and wanting to hate 
all men for one man's decisions with you. All right, so let's recap. Don't ask him where you stand. Stop accepting situationships. Avoid early sexual advances. Value courtship. Don't chase him. Avoid playing games. Don't be too convenient. Trust your instincts and don't ignore red flags. So what do y'all think? Have you experienced any of these? Let's make a pact to avoid these pitfalls and hold out for something real. We deserve nothing less. It's so important to remember our worth and not settle for less than we deserve. Relationships should make us feel happy and valued, not anxious and unsure. We're worth the time and the effort and we have to start acting like it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your thoughts below and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.